so reaching is this natural uh, movement pattern that that can make things like working on your balance just so much more fun. That's why I like it. Um, because we link our eyes to our hands, you know, right as you're sitting here, you can look to some place, use your imagination that you reach for it. Look a different place, reach, maybe cross body. And so let's take this into some balance. So you can stand up. And in the beginning, you can simply stand with legs together. This is already a challenge for some people. And so if this is a very easy exercise for you, don't take that for granted. This is um, already a very limited base of support that you have. So just to get the idea of the game, stand with your legs together like this, and you can look around the room where you are. Orient yourself. Simply by you know, seeing your surroundings clearly is also a way to calm down. There is no tigers lurking behind the closet or whatever. So now you can start to add the reach. I see my yoga pillow. I'm gonna reach for the yoga pillow and twist my body to make it work. And you can see different things over you. Behind you is especially challenging and you can reach in different ways between your legs, to the back, to the sky, to the floor. We have all these different axes. So give yourself some movement nutrition by by letting your body organize itself organically around the act of reaching. Before we go into the classic like one-legged stuff, try and stand in a staggered stance. So in a nice lunging position, this, this very like ready to go in each direction, you can feel grounded in your feet. And now we play the same game. You can go to the sides, reaching and to the front and to the back. Maybe looking first and then going for the reach. Changing your eyes, reaching. You can do weight transfers, but keep both feet grounded for now. If you look at some place on the floor, really, you can touch the floor, touch the thing you're reaching for, or if you have an object around you that you can reach, stretch yourself to get there. And let's say we reached around 10, 12 places. Let's switch the legs, taking the other lunging position. And from here, you can also start to play the game. Really make it a game. If you use your imagination, this can be something more than a simple exercise. But really this like whole body, whole mind idea. Reaching like Spider-Man through space, going longer than you think you can. Remember also to touch the floor a couple of times or reach downwards. The act of picking up this universal human action. Okay, so shake out your legs. So this was our warm up, and we'll try and go for a one legged balance now. Let's reach 10, 12 times with our hands as usual, playing the same game in this position. Now you're, you might notice how you're starting to counterbalance now because you have three limbs that can go the opposite direction of your reaching arm. And suddenly you might find yourself literally doing yoga. For example, the, the straight reach to the front is no different from a warrior three position. Or maybe you want to reach to the side to so do the tree pose from yoga. There's so many yoga poses right here available for you as you play this game. Or maybe a forward fold, picking up something from the ground. Really good stuff. And remember the floor can be a really high standard, so you don't have to even touch the ground. Just reaching a little bit down is more than enough. 
Okay, so let's switch sides just so we don't get too tired. You might notice, wow, this is actually quite hard work for the leg. So let's go to the other side and play a little bit. Another yoga pose is kind of being a little bit sideways and reaching downwards, the half moon pose. And you might have noticed you have certain preferences. So notice, is there anything you can learn about yourself just by how you're playing this game? And if you could do just one thing to play, to be a little bit nicer, have a little bit easier time as you play the game, feel free to do that now. Is it changing the rule? Is it your self-talk? There might be something that is making this a little bit harder than it needs to be. Okay, so we'll finish with uh, going back on the first leg again but then inviting your foot to be your new hand. So with the, the foot traveling through space, see if you can reach different places, both on the floor, but also as if your foot was your hand, reach to the sides and to the back, towards the walls. Maybe even have the feeling, nothing more than an intention to lift your foot up to the ceiling over the horizon. So many things going on, the body changing its shape, your eyes also moving around the room. So there's already a pretty high level balance exercise. And hopefully it feels a little bit more alive than a, than a little bit more static things that we could also be doing. Switch legs. And give it a go on the other side. Again, have that idea that you look to some place and then you reach there. Observe and then act. You might choose an impossible angle that's behind yourself and you simply try and reach in that direction. Uh, this is tough, huh? Falling is learning, is my mantra for practicing balance. If you did not come here and fall, then maybe you did not learn anything. Okay, let's come into the middle. Very good and sit in a squat. Uh, if you cannot sit with your heels grounded in a squat, then feel free if you have some kind of a wedge or a small book, putting something under your heel, wow, it really helps you to have more mobility down here. So a little bit more flexibility focused and a little bit less balance. Try finally to finish up, let's reach uh, different places sitting here in the squat. See what options you have to reach in different directions. Many people in different cultures, this is their primary working position in the field or in the garden. And so if you feel like you have no options here, well, then it's actually quite a nice thing to learn. Maybe also reaching behind yourself. Now you might want to at some point lift one heel, which gives you quite more options. So you can play the game allowing yourself to lift one heel, but you can also, you can also play the game where that is forbidden and just allow your world to be a little bit smaller. For example, reaching behind myself so hard when my heels are grounded and I have to counter reach with my hands. 
Also notice the sky. Are you are you just looking down? Can you also look a little bit up in different directions? Last couple of reaches. Uh, and lift your hips up. You can, with bent knees, take a gentle stretch, perhaps uh, rock a little bit from side to side. Let your neck go and take some deep breaths through the nose. Hanging out, swaying from side to side like a soft tree in the wind. Last three breaths. And you can gently come to sitting. Whew. So that was a little round of, of organic strength, organic balance uh, work. I don't really have a name for it, but uh, if you have a better name than me, then please feel free to, to write. Yeah, so um, any, any comments on this? Leah? When you just said, uh, breathe uh, through your nose, I noticed that again, I was <laughs> through, uh, breathing through my mouth uh, during the last exercise because I was not our main focus and I completely forgot all we had done before. Yeah. If nothing else, it can be an entry point into this, you know, just being aware of our habits and, and our breathing habits are, are almost invisible unless we start to look for it. Uh, don't judge yourself, you know, it's just a thing. And, and it's interesting to be aware of, you know, if we, we breathe, I think, 25,000 times every day. And, you know, if, if we can breathe just slightly better for most of those breaths, maybe it can really change our lives.